At least I can hope that Willie did get a hold of some cleats so we can run hills this morning. Seems like it'll be an upgrade from waking up with an anxiety attack. <laughs> Morning, morning. <laughs> this morning I woke up and I looked over at my phone and I opened up Facebook and I was like, okay, now that I haven't checked this in technically four and a half hours, at the time I checked it, it was like, good morning, Theodore. And I was like, I don't want to see this. <laughs> I dismissed good morning, Theodore, from Facebook because I was like, you don't. No, it is not. <laughs> the spawn rate on Pokemon is up. I, I don't mean to detract and cause a little bit. Um, I don't know if you guys can see this. Oh look, there's a Firo and a Pidgeotto and uh, but like, this is nuts. I mean, look at this shit. Yeah. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> but Aaron had a meeting this morning where he had to talk. 10 whole minutes. 10 whole minutes. But it would have been leave way earlier. Yeah. And uh. The meeting was at 7.30. I usually get to work at 8.30. <clears throat> yeah, so it would have been... And then Tuesdays he has a meeting at like... 8. 8. So he gets so we le he gets on the train about 7-ish. He gets there on time. This would have to have been leaving earlier. But... Yeah. So that happened last night. I have no <coughs> words. I don't know what to say. Like, you know, I checked, you know, my ballot. Oh, this is a... Secretary of State or from Oregon website, you know, I typed in my social security number, I typed in my birthday, and I typed in my full name, and it was just like, your ballot was received and counted on October 22nd. I was like, then Aaron's was too. Because <laughs> I dropped yeah. him off at the same time. But it just, <laughs> so like I said on Facebook, I've been checked out since then. And I mean, I, well, we watched Star Trek Beyond last night. Because <laughs> there wasn't shit we are going to do. Yeah. <laughs> and then we went to bed, and... Then I woke up at 12.30. 12.30. So that it was still dark outside, said, oh, well, must be time for work. So I got up, showered, did all my stuff, and then realized that it was one in the morning. I don't know how long he was up after that because I don't remember him coming back into the bedroom, but I remember him going in and taking a shower, and I just went, no, it's happening again. So I don't know what to say. You know, I can... I can only hope that for some reason, people in the comments get all nuts and angry. <laughs> you know, I don't really respond to negative comments in general. There's been a couple over the last week that have been really degrading to my football skill on my previous videos. And some of them I'm like, dude, I've been on defense, learning defense at all for two months. In of course I, in that video, of course I suck. And then other ones are like, the first practice in pads from last year when we were out on the grass and was just like, man, you must suck if you're slipping and falling all the time. And I watched the actual video. Everyone's slipping and falling. And I'm like, whatever. Okay. This is also a year after me being on defense. And of course I don't have the eyes yet. But I don't engage those comments. But I'm in the mode where if for some reason this video gets a lot of negative comments, I'm just sort of like, fight me. Because it's like, I'm going to go run stairs with Willie and then I'm home for the rest of the day because I don't, oh, well, I got to go shopping, but I might go shopping after that so I can stay motionable. Whatever. And then, yeah. Yeah, they did some of the spawn raid. It's fucking crazy. Like I said, either the update screwed it up or they screwed it up. I don't know. It's server-based. I hadn't updated last night and, or hadn't updated until last night. And last time I opened it, I still had a But it's not like there's good Pokemon spawning. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just it's a, a lot of them. Just a whole hell of a lot of them. Usually I'll find like three Pokemon in this quarter mile walk up to the train station. I've found 15 so far. I've been keeping a track. That's why I'm looking down every so often. Ooh, the train's coming. Just gonna speed it up just a weedle weedle bit. We kind of went into a little bit of a hurried jog because the train's at the other platform. I can hear the ding-dings, but I didn't want to like slack off, keep walking, get here and have to rush. So I'm not necessarily fond of those that has to rush and whatnot. Yeah. Anything you have to say about overnight? And yes, he was having nightmares about what you think. Yeah. I mean, most of the really politically active people who, whose Facebooks or Tumblrs I follow have already said it pretty well. It's not the end of the world. Let's do everything we can to make it better. Yeah. Well, it's like I told Jason Miller, he was saying, oh, now the, now the hate 
calling and naming begins. And I was like, I posted one negative thing and my mother came on and defended it. And now I have the feeling that she put her hatred of Hillary over her Latino daughter and her gay son. Bye. So I guess the question comes down as to what we do now. I don't know what I do. I've already had to talk to people out of suicide this morning on Facebook. Talked to someone over in Morocco about stuff. And I talked to someone over on the East Coast who played for a Hungarian team. Has already gotten offers to have, yeah, to play over. And I'm like, I don't have any film. I can't. <laughs> There's no way I can leave. We don't have the money to move. <laughs> the fact that some of the, well, I guess we can call them youth players because whatever. They've offered me to come move over to like Germany and Poland. I'm like, what? I mean, I don't know how serious you are. I mean, you guys are probably pretty serious, but I don't necessarily know how. It's sort of like, you can say all you want and be good on everything and just absolutely mean it, but the actual being able to come through with it, it's just, it's different. And I've even heard some people say that what's this is the best outcome. If you look at it, if the other direction would have happened, the system would have won. And the Republicans could have uh, wiped their hands of this whole nonsense. And everything would have been back to normal. And now, the Republicans have to live with it. And the DNC gets embarrassed. Because poll after poll after poll says Bernie would have wiped the floor with him. Because the DNC flipped around and went with Hillary, they burned a lot of the stuff with Bernie voters and they went for the third party. Am I angry at third party voters? I can't be angry at the third party voters. I mean, I want to be. I want to say, hey, you should have sucked it up and put in a vote that would have benefited the fight against the guy you hated, rather than put in a protest vote for someone you knowingly know, weren't, knew weren't, was not gonna contribute because there's two sides of contributing in a first-past-the-post system. Not voting for the candidate you don't like, and then voting for the likeliest candidate. And the fact is, some people are like, well, don't yell at me because I voted for the third party. No, I'm not going to yell at you. I'm not going to chide you for it. I'm just saying that you didn't know. It, it, the system didn't make any sense to you. And for those that are, that I always, that I figured by and large were smarter, that voluntarily voted for Trump, were definitively in the targeted minorities that he went against, or his VP did, then yeah, there's a very, very black youth athlete that I met a couple years ago, and he, at least on Facebook, says he voted for Trump. And I was like, what are you doing? And I can only suspect that he voted out of fear. Not fear for Clinton. He feared because sometimes people do stupid shit because they're afraid of something inside their head. This person has expressed to me in the past that they are afraid to live who they are because the world will judge them for it. Yeah. So in a weird way, it almost seems like he voted for Trump because he is trying to strike out against, he's trying to rebel in a way, and everybody's telling him that, you know, since he's black and he's young and he's smart and he's relatively college educated, he should be voting for Clinton. And he's like, well, no, I'm gonna vote for Trump, even though he really doesn't believe it. Cause I'm like, dude, I know your worldview. There is no way you completely understand what you're saying is Hillary is a criminal. You don't, this doesn't make any sense to you. You're just regurgitating, you know, and everybody is like, well, I'm voting for Trump because Hillary's a criminal. And I'm like, trust me, Trump's pretty much a criminal too. But, you know, you know, you see what you want. That's what happened. I got done doing Hills. I'm at Freddy's. I'm wandering around. I'm lost. I don't know what to do. I already ran Hills. I stink to high hell. Tomorrow's another day. Tomorrow's another day.